Edmonton. Last time we went to Edmonton it was to see my daughter who lives there. I lived in Edmonton 22 years. I raised my first family there. I've been in Calgary here 16 years. But why are we going to Edmonton? I keep going on tangents. I always do. We're going to Edmonton for Edmonton Hemp Fest 2017. I'll be running a uh, charity tent for Hands of Hope, a charity very closely tied to my heart and to MMJ Total Healthcare. I will be working there, if you call it work, Saturday, today, and Sunday, March 11 and 12. I wish I could show you the city right now, but it's covered in fog. I'm starting the trip. Edmonton is 280 kilometers away to 75 something like that um, which is usually a two hour 45 three hour trip it's minus 28 with wind chill minus 21 without wind chill and we're off on this drive so uh I'm going to show you real quickly the city and how it looks. And then we'll continue on and we'll see when next time I talk to you. Peace and cheers. Watch for the front. Here we are heading towards Deerfoot Trail, Highway 2, or QE2, Queen Elizabeth 2. It's the QE2 Highway. Heading north. You can just barely make out the city to your right, center right. The silhouette of the city in the in the clear ice fog. Really foggy. Or as my son loves to say, froggy. It's really froggy out, my friends. And here we go, getting ready to start the trip on the faster highway we'll get ourselves going and we'll say to you peace and cheers love and harmony not sure where I will post next peace I thought I'd show you guys how quickly things change in Alberta we're leaving beautiful skies to boom we're in the fog we're right in the ice crystals and yet just beyond us is the beautiful skies we're right beside it Calgary International Airport just leaving Calgary. Stony Trail, the sign right above us is the ring road that they've spent years and years trying to build around our city. And now I'm through the ice fog. And that was just a short little howdy doody. Peace and cheers, love and harmony. I'll show you guys this spot. We are just north of Olds, Alberta. And this is the view I'm getting absolutely everywhere. It's minus 21, as I said. It is crisp and cold. Everything is covered in frost. The sky is absolutely beautiful. It's just, the day is waking up. And so is Gordy. So here we are, uh, I guess one quarter of the way. Peace and cheers, talk to you. You soon look at that in front of us. Doesn't that look cold? 
we are getting close to Red Deer, Alberta. That's the middle point between Calgary and Edmonton. And it has dropped in temperature. It's now minus 24 and chilly to the bone. I'm still even in my jacket in the car because it's just kind of cold. Anyways, here we go for more. Also, this is a good view of this is what roads are like in Alberta. You could pretty well uh, tie your steering wheel to the door and go to sleep. Straight, straight, straight. Peace and cheers, love and harm. And here we are, folks. We are arriving at Edmonton. Yeah, not much difference from Calgary. White skies, uh, ice fog everywhere, and uh, blowing snow, and it's minus 19, a little bit warmer. <laughs> and we're just on the outskirts. As you see, there's the airport sign. Edmonton International Airport is outside of the city, but we'll show you more as we get inside. Peace and cheers. Next, I think I'll show you the River Valley. And Peace. here we are. We have arrived South Edmonton. We just passed. I was trying to get the recording to go so that you could see the old Leduc oil well that starts the welcome to Edmonton. But we're here. Gateway Boulevard, Anthony Handy Drive. That's the beginning of the city. And soon I'll be saying hi from River Valley. All right, my dear friends, I promised you a drive down the River Valley of Edmonton. And here we are on Scona Hill. And we're just Continue heading... Continue on Queen Elizabeth Park Road for 800 meters. That's my Google Navigator. So she may interrupt a few times. She's really rude. But I wanted to show you this drive. It's, I've always loved going down into the River Valley. Right ahead of us is the High Level Bridge. It's a rail bridge and a driving bridge. And new bridges off to the right there being built. And Skona Pool, Strathcona Pool is right in front of us at the bottom of this hill. In 300 meters, use any lane to turn right onto Walterdale Hill Northwest. That's going to be a beautiful bridge to our right. You can't, can't see it, sorry. But it's going to be a gorgeous bridge. Or maybe we're actually... Well, yeah, you can see it now off to your right there. It's going to be a beautiful bridge. It's not open yet. But as they work on that, we will head a different way downtown across the bridge and then I'll let you and you can see downtown right there absolutely beautiful I love downtown Edmonton use any lane to turn right onto Walterdale Hill Northwest and I'll shut this off soon because I need to know how to get to the parking lot I'm going to in 400 meters <laughs> turn right onto 95 Avenue yes, Northwest yes we'll get onto 95 Avenue just hang on so here we are my friends, I'm going to let you go next, maybe, from the Hemp Fest. Peace and cheers. Love and harmony. Here I am at Hemp Fest, Edmonton. We're just setting up, getting everything going. There's, I'll show you it all. There's Hemp Fest. There's our Hands of Hope. I'll get back to you when there's people here. Peace and cheers. Love and harmony. Hey, y'all, it's good. Yeah, it's busy in here. Yo, Just look at that. We're going to keep it short and sweet. Peace and cheers. Love and harmony. Hey, y'all, I don't know how well you'll hear me, but it's Gord from Hemp Fest, Calgary, Edmonton. Edmonton. As you can tell, it's busy here. It is busy. Just people everywhere. Edmonton needed this. Edmonton needed a bad. Hemp Fest 2017. Peace and cheers. Love and harmony. Hey, y'all. It's early. It's Gord. Fest. Let me get past a few people. No, it's pointing this way. <laughs> now you can say hi. <laughs> there we are. We're at uh, Hempfest Edmonton, just walking around. Uh, it hasn't opened to the public yet, so it's nice to just be able to get to see a fairly good sized place. We're going to also be at the Agricon on April 1st. 
and uh, so I'm just walking around getting my chance to see the place for the first time because yesterday I was just way too busy. Anyways, peace and cheers. I wish I could show you more, but I just don't like showing off people. This is a private kind of industry. You know, people don't want their faces unless you've already guaranteed that they wanted it. This is a cool dude, Hothead. Hothead books. There's almost everything here from growing to LPs to, to dispensaries. So it's good to see things change. Peace and cheers, love and harm. And Hello, my friends. And hello to the end of this traveling hippie. This was the Hemp Fest trip, and I am now just south of LA, Leduc, Alberta. I have left Edmonton, I'm on my way to Calgary. I will get home about 9 o'clock tonight. Yeah, it's been a long day. My, I am in really excruciating pain right now. Can't wait to get home and get some medication in me, but I've got a three hour drive. So, uh, thanks to the time change, I've got more sunlight and it's shining on me right now. I wanted to say, I'm sorry for the short video clips of Hempfest. There's nothing really much to be learned there and I didn't feel I have the right to videotape anybody else. So, I just wanted to say a few hellos, but I can tell you, we helped, we helped, oh, hundreds of people. We saw 500 people in the first hour and a half because we had grab bags that we gave out and they were gone in an hour and a half. And we had to go get 500 more and they were gone. And then 500 more today and we ran out of them. So for sure we, at least talk to 1,500 to 2,000 people. The place was busy. Edmonton needed it just as badly as Calgary did. They were just itching for the news and the education on cannabis as a medicine. It was a really good one. I'm looking forward to doing more. Next time I think I have to medicate a little better CBD wise or find something because, and I have to get a better chair. I need a traveling chair that I'm gonna take with me that's gonna help me at these conferences. Something so I'm not standing the entire time. I've really torn up my back. But this is all positive. This is so great and I'm really happy. Peace and cheers, my friends. Love and harmony. I hope you enjoyed this. Talk to you again.